We're going to learn how to draw the electron structure of an atom and then relate that to the periodic table. Now, uh, before we get started, I would like to point out a couple of, a, a few things to you, is that every element on a main group, right, have the same number of valence electrons on the outer energy level or outer shell, all right? That's a given. And now every element in a period, in the same period, will have the same number of energy level or same shell. So for example, every element in group one will have one valence electron all right, every element in group four here has four valence electrons, all right? And every element in, let's say, period two, has uh, period three here has three shells, one, two, three. So this is a generalization. Now, the trend does get a little bit more complicated when you talk about transition metals, and then these elements at these two bottom rows. Uh, but we're not going to touch, touch on that at, at this stage. All right? So let us learn how to draw a few uh, electron structure of five elements in the first 20 elements in the periodic table. All right? And this IGCSE model works perfectly fine when it comes to the first 20 elements. All right, so let's talk about hydrogen. Where is hydrogen? Well, hydrogen is on the first period, right? So it has one valence, one uh, energy level or shell. And uh, hydrogen is also can be considered to be uh, group one, although it's, it's not really considered a group one on this planet. So let's draw the nucleus of uh, hydrogen. So that's the nucleus. It's exaggerated and it's large just because um, we, I need you to be able to see the nucleus. And then it has one energy level, okay? So I draw that one energy level. Now, uh, I do want to remind you also that each energy level can have one or up to 16 orbitals, all right? And uh, this is more towards your uh, advanced level curriculum, but it is true that each energy level, that means each period, can have either one orbital or up to 16 orbitals. And each orbital can only hold up to two electrons. All right, so let's get back to our hydrogen. Hydrogen, uh, when you start to draw the electron structure, you first identify which period it is on. And so I'll draw this sh the, the number of shells. All right, this is the big shell. And then I will look at the atomic number to determine the number of electrons that I need to fill up. So hydrogen has one atomic number has an atomic number one, so it only has one. Atomic hydrogen has one electron, so there it is. And I can double check my work by determining the position of hydrogen. So hydrogen can be considered as a group one, although it's not a group one metal on this planet. So uh, it will definitely have one valence electron, and there you go, one energy level. Uh, that means that energy level is also the valence energy level and it has one electron. Now let's look at lithium. Lithium is in role number two, period two, and it's in group one. So let's draw the nucleus of lithium. And then it's, it's, it has two periods, right? So it has two energy levels. So I'm going to draw the first energy level and then the second energy level. And 
I know that it has one valence electron because it's group one, so I'm going to draw it up here. And um, inside the inner energy level or inner shell must have two electrons because lithium has an atomic number of three. All right, and I've already used one electron, so I have two electrons left, and that those two electrons must be in the first energy level in here. And I also drew these two electrons together because I am satisfying a generalization that each orbital can hold up to two electrons. So what I can determine from the here is that the first energy level can only have one type of orbital and that orbital can hold two electrons. Okay? Let's look at carbon. Carbon is also on the second period, all right, but it says group four, okay? Group four. So let's draw the um, nucleus of carbon, and it's in group, it has two periods, so it has two energy levels. Uh, the first two energy levels, Two elect it has an atomic number of six. All right, atomic number is six. So it has six electrons. Okay. So the first two electrons must be in here because all group uh, period two ele elements have the same inner energy sh energy level. Right. So I've used two electrons, so I have a remaining of four electrons. Now, uh, it so happens to, that in the second energy level, we have four orbitals, four orbitals, okay? And, and how you determine that is because you can count the number of electrons in the second row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, 8 divided by 2 means it has 4 different orbitals. Now, the way we draw the orbitals, uh, the electron in the orbitals, is that each electron will go into one orbital first. So, each electron will go into its different orbitals before it fills up the rest. Okay? So, this is the structure of the carbon element electron structure of the carbon element. Now let's look at chlorine. Chlorine is on group 3. Fantastic. So it must, uh, rule number 3, or main, yeah? So it must have 3 energy levels, or 3 shells. Okay. Chlorine is in group 7, so its outer shell must have seven valence electrons. So I'm going to draw it like so. The chlorine also has four different orbitals. So I noted like that. So this can be used four, five, six, seven. All right. So I've used seven electrons. I know that the first energy level has two electrons. So I've used a total of nine electrons. What's the atomic number of chlorine? That's 17. So 17 minus 9, or subtracted by 9, will give me 8. So I have 8 electrons left, and the 8 electrons will be in this second energy level. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So that is the uh, electron structure of chlorine. Now, what about calcium? Calcium is on period four. So it has four energy levels. Okay. Four energy levels. Two energy levels on the inside, and then four 
Oh, energy levels here. I mean, eight electrons on the second shell, eight electrons on the third shell, and on the uh, last shell, it has two energy levels, uh, two electrons on that energy level. Now, why did I draw these two electrons together? It's because the orbital for the first two calciums are here, and then uh, the first two electrons in this orbital, uh, the first two electrons will fill this orbital here, and then the other six will fill up the rest of the orbitals. So in actual fact, when I'm talking about carbon, uh, I should draw the first two electrons here, and then the other two over somewhere else. But again, uh, we use this method because we are talking, we are taking into consideration of a concept called hybridization, which we will not get into. Okay, and here we are not really going to use the concept of hybridization. Or you can, if you want to, you can also draw the extra electrons here. And it's not entirely wrong at this level because this is a very inferior model uh, to represent the electron structure. So uh, we're going to talk about electron configuration next.